Good evening, and uh, thank you for tuning in again to be with us so that we can both listen to Father to see what he's sharing with us tonight. Hallelujah. And what comes to my mind is a lot of times, maybe you were like I used to be, where you didn't think that politics and scripture would go together. But as I look in the scripture and I see that when, it, not scripture, but when I look at what happened with the, the Constitution, that a Constitution was put together for the United States of America, and this Constitution was to help to govern the, the, the govern the people. But the people themselves are the one that chose the representatives that they would like to have governing them. And so I was looking at that, and then I was looking at the Declaration of Independence in which our people was declaring their independence from, from, from Britain's rule. And then I looked in the scripture, and I saw where Father was saying that Israel uh, was his firstborn. And then he said that, and then he called uh, Moses and gave the people of Israel commandments and rules to live by. So when I was looking at the, the Constitution, I said to myself, then the United States of America set up uh, laws that would help in the governing of the people, and they, they made a, a um, declaration uh, letting people know that they were separated and they were on their own, so to speak. I may not be using the the right words, but you know what I mean, that, that they are on their own. They, uh, they are not under the rule of Britain. So here Father set Israel aside as well, and uh, Father also gave Israel their rules and regulations so that they would know how to govern themselves. And so when uh, people, like I used to be, I didn't realize that, that people were studying uh, the Bible that was uh, presidents, you know, the presidents of the United States. I really didn't, I didn't have a clue to tell you the truth. I don't remember uh, somebody saying to me, you know, uh, they prayed in Congress and they did so and so when they started out. And, and you know, some of the founding fathers had said that if you take a Bible out of school, and immorality is going to run rampant. Nobody said those things to me. I began to, to find out all of these things, uh, uh, some of these things uh, recently that, that actually shocked me. So when you look at the fact that Father set up everything, he created heaven, earth, and, his, and everything that's in it. Praise be to the God of Israel. The food. The animals, you, me, the water, the sun, the moon, the stars. He fixed it all up. Hallelujah. Because he knew that he was going to have himself a people. And that these people would be given as a light unto the world. And that these people would have to keep his commandments or remnant. Preferably, it would have been wonderful if all of Israel kept them. But Father always have had a remnant of people that kept his commandments and laws. Because if in the United States uh, if, and, and the, the law enforcement, what if all of a sudden nobody's keeping uh, the laws that is governing the land? People would uh, be killed more than they are now. You couldn't go to go in your house and have peace without rules and regulations. So if we wiped out all the laws and 
that's on the books in the land, the ordinance, the statutes that made up in the land, what would we have? We would have everybody doing their own thing. And if I want your money, I'll just come and take your money. If you don't give it to me, I'll just kill you. I'll just, I want your woman, I'll just come take your woman. I want your man, hey. Ain't nothing telling me I can't have him. So it would just be a total mess here in America and elsewhere throughout the world if there were no rules and regulations. Even in the animal kingdom, there are certain rules and orders. If you, you watch the animals, you see there are certain rules and orders among different kind of animals. The lions have certain ways that they operate. Uh, the tigers have certain ways that they operate. The monkeys have certain ways they operate. And then you go to the fowl, the chickens, you know, they have certain things that they do. So what would happen if the father sent forth a word and destroyed all these senses where there is no rule and nothing? We would have nothing. It would be like wildfire. They say the fire is wild. It means the, the fire don't have no sense as to how to shut itself off. It's just wild. Just like somebody say, you act like a wild deer. And what they're talking about, you don't even have no direction. You're just running every which way. Because we believe a deer has a direction if there's danger. He's trying to get away from it. So here we are with the uh, America. And, and the reason I keep talking about the founding fathers is to encourage those of you, hallelujah, that will Focus on the one element of those that are in Congress or things that we actually don't talk about a lot on TV because uh, people belong to certain uh, uh, societies and things. That's not what I'm, I'm trying to emphasize about the word, that, that the word was there and that people use the word of our God and they know, noted that there was a, a change and that it, it helped them, that it gave them guidelines and which to rule people and to help them make it better. So therefore, if the Heavenly Father don't have no rules and regulations for us, we are all in trouble. But even the sun and the moon, it has regulations. So what my point is, is that if in the United States, which is United States, we can have rules and regulations, what about the God of Israel? If there are no rules and regulations, then guess what? then actually you must not have God anywhere. Um, and then in, uh, again, this rabbi's book that I was reading in it, it said that America was never uh, set up where you, they, people were required to keep the Sabbath. That was for Israel. Well, I submit to you that before America was formed, that there was some Hebrew people here from the beginning of time to the new world. So somebody was uh, keeping the Sabbath. And I, I've seen it in some of the books and things like that, that that was here. My, what, what's my point? Is that if the, this rabbi put this in his book, and you are here in America, and Father blessing America the way he is blessing it, then why don't you read the word? That's the point that I'm making. Hallelujah. And I, I didn't know that. I'm sure some of you his, his, historical uh, people knew this all the time, but it's not too long ago I found out that, that George Washington was not inaugurated in, in Washington, D.C. or whatever, uh, and I thought, oh, I didn't know that, and they, that he was inaugurated in New York. That's in New York, New York City, out there near where Ground Zero was, or somewhere out in, in that in that in that area, and that that was became the first capital, I think, of the United States, right in that little part. And if I'm wrong, you all just forgive me. I'm trying to share something with you that. I didn't know that, and, I, and this was compared to the, what I said earlier about uh, this book that this man wrote about warnings to America and how, look, the 9-11 the, 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 the thing happened in New York where, 
where the very grounds had been consecrated and, and set aside and some little chapel there just was still standing and then something about a sycamore tree. You can go and study because uh, I'm just throwing certain things out. But all of this is so important to what the God of Israel is doing. And the thing that I smile about is my husband is from New York, even though, hey, Dad, even though it is from Brooklyn, hallelujah, and Queens, hallelujah, we, we came from New York, so we were sent and planted down here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, you tell me, if you're married to a law enforcement person, you know, and uh, he gonna come in and tell me, all, all, you know what, I got a job, I'm on the police force, and we don't have to enforce any rules. Would he have a job? But that's what, that's what is being done to fathers, commandments and laws and rules. And the thing that blessed me about our heavenly father is that, I have to say this again, even when I didn't know Messiah was any kin to Jewish people, to tell y'all the truth, I, I didn't know this. So I know father work when you don't really know and trying to do the right thing. And he still works when he gives you revelation of knowledge. Let me try to wrap this up as to what I'm trying to say. Is that read the word. Study it for yourself. Because there are some things that is going to come up on any place. Not just America. On a household. If you're not studying. I heard you, you say, well, things come up on the household even when you're studying the word and even when you're praying. Yes, but you are given the strength to go through it. You're given the wisdom so that you can understand it. You're given uh, uh, the, the love that you need when you're going through. You don't have to say, I, I don't believe there's no God. I don't care about nothing. It's empty cold. Why was I born? Let me go kill myself. Because there ain't nothing going on anyway. And we want to stop people like you who talk like that to let you know. And I'm going to say it again. If the, if the founding fathers can read the word, what about you? What about some of these Nobel Prize winners? Hallelujah. Didn't some of them read the word? Look at what with uh, Martin, Reverend Martin Luther King. Well, he was in the word and he became one of the great leaders. What about, what about some of the other people that we see that are made it big? Or uh, some of those have been in the word. Now, what is my point? Is that where we are in this world, I could say, I'm in Charlotte. I don't know, are you from Texas or somewhere? Are you from California? I bet you if you search and look in the historical books, you will find something in California or something in uh, uh, Mexico or something here in Charlotte that takes you back and to the uh, things that have happened here before America was really formed. And we'll confirm to you that the God of Israel never stopped working with all of us. It's like, please read the, the, the Bible. Please study Torah. Please uh, pray to the God of Israel that, that we come together in, in a unity. And these days, you don't know whether you're supposed to say unity in a way. Because then people get up and say, you know what they're trying to do? It's the one world religion and they bring in all the people together. You know that's true too. But we come together in truth so that, so that we can make a difference in this, in, this, in this world. Let's go to Hebrews. Hallelujah. Uh, Hebrews, we'll just say Hebrews 11. And you know that chapter talks about faith to do what Father called you to do. That's not what it says there, but it shows you that the people beforehand had faith. Now, I'm going to read this for something. Well, I'm not veering off, but it's all part of this. Okay, listen to this. It says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Isn't that what the founding fathers were doing? What, weren't they? There were situations going on, and they had a hope for something different. And they worked at it. Hallelujah. 
It says, for by it the elders obtain a good report. Now, this is Father and his people Israel. Through faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God, so that things which are, are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto Yahuwah a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Now, by faith, Enoch was translated. And here's another thing you all have heard me say. In the book of Enoch, he talks about those that will not keep the commandments and laws. It's going to be terrible for them. Now, the commandments and laws had not even yet been given to uh, Moses. But anyway, he was a believer. Noah was a believer. They, they, they knew about the Sabbath that Father had given them. Abraham, hallelujah. You know, Abraham knew uh, to follow what Father had put in there for him to follow. And then you get to Moses, and after Moses, you got Jeremiah, you got Isaiah. This is my point I'm making. Uh, Moses was from the priestly line, right? So how can a priest come up to you and say, now I don't have to do the commandments and laws. A priest of the, God, of the Most High God of Israel can never say that. If they say that, then you know they're not a priest that belong to the God of Israel with understanding. I'm talking from the is, 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 Israelite part of it and the Hebrew part of it. No priest that is a priest of the God of Israel will tell you that. So we are in a, 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 a kind of dilemma here. Here we got to bring the truth to people that don't want the truth. But we have to keep talking. We have to keep saying Matthew was a, a part of the priest line. When you look through that, so was Isaiah. So was, so was Jeremiah. So, hallelujah. All of these people that was in here, none of them were saying the laws and commandments are done away with. If, President, if, you, if you go and do something wrong, is President Obama going to say all the laws and commandments are done away with? But they are discovering that when you get away from Father's laws and commandments, the things are not going to work the way they're supposed to work. I don't care who is doing what in your household. Same thing. You lying all the time, stealing all the time, lying about your bills. You know, the people calling you, 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 you dodging, and, 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 and you're, not, you're not home. You're supposed to pay your bills. Hallelujah. Some of us get in debt and... Father, help us get out of that. What my point is, every household got some kind of rules. If you got some children 14 years old, there's a rule. You better get in here by whatever time. You need to do your homework. My point is, is read, read, <laughs> read, read the scripture. Let me, let me go back here. Uh, Messiah says study, or the word says study to show yourself approved. Hallelujah. And some of us think that we have eternal life and we don't even know the Father. I don't know who you are. And I just know that Messiah has been sent to lead us in a path of righteousness. And Father does not want any of us to get that there's a mercy seat. Hallelujah. For those of us that, that don't know certain things, there's a mercy seat set up so that he can have mercy on us. That Messiah died for our sins so that we could have better lives so that we could be lights in the world, that we would not be selfish, that we would reach out to somebody to help them in some way to have a better life. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I know in the scripture it says, as for me and my household, hallelujah, I could just say, as for me and, 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 and what we believe in is that we're in oneness and that we believe that our God has called us for such a time as this. He called people from New York. He called people from Baton Rouge. Hallelujah. Now, I mean, they had, um, there are founders that were signing, uh, signing the uh, papers for either the Constitution or the Declaration of Independence. Someone from uh, North Carolina, some from South Carolina, and here you are. Hallelujah. And you say, what is your point? I, I would like it if you go ahead and say a prayer because I'm hurting and you're talking about, you're talking about laws and commandments. Well, you know, in the, I, in the scripture, it said, Father said, if you obey me, I will take sickness from out of the midst of you. That's what he told Israel. He said, if you love me, put me first. Love me with your whole heart, mind, and soul. Hallelujah. And so, you know, we always say in Psalm 23, and David kept the commandments and the laws. 
I pray that I pray that that I try to keep the laws and commandments in my house. That Harvey, <laughs> that Harvey, yeah, that Harvey, uh, we could say Harvey laid down certain rules and regulations that you have to obey. And in our home, uh, one of the laws is you you made a bill, you you pay your bill, you 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 pay your bill on time. You don't call up people hollering about, let me pay you three months from now. In our household, you pay those bills. And if you don't pay your bill, dad will be looking for it and say, well, hey, did your bill, did you pay your bill? I mean, that's a, that's a command. What if he don't care about what I pay bill? And then if he don't care and I'm trying to get away with it and no rules there for anybody to kind of uh, make me, what you call it, uh, accountable, you know, then I said, okay, well, I just call them people into, no, that's not like I, I always pay my bills anyway. But I'm just saying, in your house, there are certain rules, right? You turn the fire up too high, up under the pot, is it going to burn the food that you got in it? There are rules everywhere. Traffic rules, traffic lights. Uh, anyway, you know I'm talking here. Okay, there's a rule right here. Now, to, 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 to kind of wrap this up a bit about the commandments and the laws, the Constitution was set up here in America. The Declaration to declare that uh, America was no longer under British rule. And now America is here with her, you not, her states and things like that. And they talk with different people from different states and they got together and whatever they did. Father got his people of Israel and he told his people of Israel, now listen, now, I've given you the commandments and the laws and everything. Now, I want you to be light in the world. I want you to go out there and I want you to share my truth. I want you to share my testimony. And I want you to, my, my son died, so you don't have to go and get all those things and kill them little, those little uh, animals and, and things for your sin. I want you, my son died for you. He is a high priest and he's going to teach you my ways. I want you to let the people know that I am long-suffering that I have patience to wait for the good fruit. I want you to be a light in the world and I want you to represent me. And I know I could hear Father saying through the, through the Messiah, he that accepts me. And we know him in the English as Jesus. If he who accepts Jesus, then you accept, the, if they accept you, they accept the Jesus that you love, then they accept the Father. Hallelujah. And so therefore, we need rules and regulations. We need rules to get our cars fixed. When the expiration date or whatever, you have to go check your car, you get a letter or something to check your car out, right? You, I mean, you take a refrigerator after so long a time, the refrigerator messes up. So there are certain rules and warranties and things. And so Messiah is our guarantee, our warranty of an everlasting life. And so remember, study and keep reading the word. And I know, I hope I shared something that will that will bless you and that when you think about New York, think about Washington was, uh, he gave his inaugural speech, if I got it right, in Washington and, and not Washington, and New York, and that we're all in this together. Pray for your president of the United States of America. We may not agree with things that people do, but we have a responsibility to make a difference through prayer, through wisdom and through understanding. Hallelujah. So I pray much blessings upon you and may Father help you, take care of you, hallelujah, give you strength, give you wisdom, give you great love while you are living in this world. May you live in peace and may you prosper in the work that Father has given you to do. Hallelujah. So we thank our Father. And maybe you will like this, this banner right here. See, sometimes you try to get it all right and look. The banner just want to do its own thing, but it's not the banner really. So I shouldn't even show you that. But this is all how life go. You try to put it all together and sometimes it don't seem like together. But then you can kind of hide. Hallelujah, because Messiah died for us. So therefore, we are clothed in him. So he covers all those little discrepancies and things. And he, when he gets finished with you, you look like royalty. You have the best voice in the world. So bless you, bless the God of Israel, praise him for everything that you have. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and tell my people their transgressions and the house of Yaakov, Jacob, their sins. Blow ye the trumpets in Zion, sound an alarm in my holy mountain. 
let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahuwah, Yahweh, is at hand. Your mouth is a trumpet. Blow ye the shofar. Amen.